Thank you for joining us. Thousands of people stood in line, then stood for the president's speech at Anschutz Pavilion in Lawrence. Uh, in it, the president talked about his mission for his last two years in office. Cakes Lily Wu has been following the president since his arrival yesterday. Two days after the president of the United States addressed the nation, he came here to Kansas to echo those same remarks focusing on middle class economics. Let's get to yes on helping more families get by. I want to get to yes on child care. I want to get to yes on more young people going to college and not being loaded up with debt. That's what I want to get to. President Barack Obama taking the podium before an excited crowd of students and guests. The president making his first of two visits to conservative leaning states following his State of the Union address. He's focusing on middle class tax cuts and programs that he wants funded by others. Let's close loopholes that let the top 1% or 0.1% avoid paying certain taxes. Use that money to help more Americans pay for college and child care. The president was greeted by the state's Republican governor, who says the president should focus on the deficit number that's still over $400 billion. I disagree with a lot of the policy prescriptions he's putting forward. I just really don't think those are the ways to go. I do think we need to start having a much more serious discussion about the debt. But the president's message focused on the young people in the audience with the message of helping families feel more secure through affordable child care, raising wages, and building a stronger economy. The young people here are going to write a new future for America. Let's get started right now. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. The president will soon be presenting his proposed budget to a Republican-controlled Congress. Reporting in Lawrence, Lily Wu, Cake News. Thank you, Lily. Now, right after Barack Obama was first elected president, I did a lot of digging into his Kansas roots. Here's a few things I found. First, the president's mother was born right here in Wichita at St. Francis Hospital. His great-grandfather owned a pharmacy in what is now the Delano District, the building, still stands today. And his grandfather, uh, along with his grandmother, who basically raised the future president, uh, graduated from Wichita, the old Wichita High School, but it was rumored he was kicked out before because of a little confrontation with the school's principal.